protesting and uh, marching and demonstrating, there are things that every individual can do to end the killing in Afghanistan. First of all, just let me let you know about the international crimes that have been committed by our government in the last nine years. When Tony Blair informed us on Mr. Mike when Tony Andrew. Blair informed us on October the 7th, 2001, that he was sending cruise missiles into Baghdad, he committed the first of hundreds of thousands of war crimes that have taken place by attacking innocent people and killing them because of their nationality he committed the crime of genocide genocide takes place whenever is that better can you hear that right genocide takes place <laughs> genocide takes place whenever you kill a person because of their nationality, their race, their religion, or their ethnic background. The Genocide Convention was signed in 1948, and America finally signed up to it in 1988. This is the most important piece of legal information and it's the one American domestic law under which George Bush, Dick Cheney and all the other horrific members of the American government can be prosecuted for the crimes they've committed in Afghanistan and Iraq. We need to encourage all American citizens to prosecute all their leaders since George Bush and perhaps Clinton under the Proxmire Act of 1988 called the Genocide Convention Implementation Act. Now in Britain we have similar legislation and in, in 2001, September the 1st, the International Criminal Court Act made it a crime in Britain for committing genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes. On October the 7th, five weeks after the introduction of that law, Tony Blair broke it. He committed genocide in Afghanistan. He committed genocide again when he ordered us into Iraq. We have killed now between 1.2 and 1.5 million innocent Afghan and Iraqi civilians in the last nine years. Of those killed, at least 400,000 are children. That means that we have been killing children at the rate of 130 every day, 24-7, for the last nine years. Now this is a very important issue. We are here to stop the killing. What they are trying to do is to stop us killing the grass. We are trying to get them to stop killing the children. Which is more important? Another thing that everybody can do, if you're interested, is to report these crimes to the police. We have a system in this country that when you see a crime taking place, you report it to the police. When you see a crime taking place, you report it to the police. So all of you can go into any police station in this country and report our leaders for genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, murder, conspiracy to murder, and a whole range of crimes which they have committed in the last nine years. The more of us that go into the police stations, the more likelihood there is of the police, the greater the chances of the police doing something about it. So please, please, the first thing you can do Keep going into police stations and reporting the crimes. The next thing everybody can do is to refuse to pay tax. It is a criminal offence. Sorry about that. 
It is a criminal offence under the law of England and Wales to hand over taxes to a government which uses them to commit genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes. Section 52 of the International Criminal Court Act makes it a crime of conduct ancillary to genocide if anybody hands over any tax to a government which is committing these crimes. This makes every taxpayer in this country a criminal. It is therefore important that you refuse to pay any more tax to this British government. It's a very simple move and you have the law on your side. They are the ones who are breaking the law. You are the ones who uphold the law if you refuse to pay tax. The important thing about a tax strike and a tax rebellion is that within a week, if we can get enough people joining it, this government will come to, will fall. If they have no money to pay the troops or buy the cluster bombs or the cruise missiles, then they will have to stop killing Afghan citizens. So it's very important if all of us go on to tax strike and refuse to pay taxes, that is one step towards ending the war. Well done, Chris. Another thing that everybody can do is to approach their MP. But every day in the last nine years, our MPs have authorized the killing in Afghanistan and Iraq. Is that what you wanted them to do when you elected them? If it isn't, they have to respond to you and go on and see them and tell them that it is a criminal offense what they're doing and that you will not support them under any uh, any circumstances and if they refuse to stop the wall then you can report them to the police for genocide. It's up to you, please go and see your MP and get them to stop and if they refuse, report them to the police for genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes. These are all things that we can do together here. So we will be taking action over the next few weeks to do this. If you can do anything to support it, please, please do. It's only when the people start to take effective action will we end what is going on, the hor horrors of the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. So please, guys, do everything you can. Thanks.